Hi, and we're back. It's nearing a lot of episodes for this. Um, I'm hoping to be done quite soon. I know you guys are like, oh my god, would you hurry up and get this done? Um, anyway, sorry. I forgot who I am and what I'm here for. Um, this is meandering. Um, this is kind of a side thing we do. Where I, Juliana, or Zach, if he's doing it, uh, we do our own thing for for this. Uh, I've been doing this for a while now. Uh, the ABC Murders. Um, they're they're based on Agatha Christie's character, Hercule Poirot. It might be actually based on a novel. I haven't read her novels. I'm a horrible person. I do like it though because I used to watch Masterpiece Theater. Now Masterpiece or Masterpiece Mystery Theater back when I was a kid. So. Yay. Uh, fascination with these things. Anyway, um, I'm Juliana. I will be your guide. There's no Zach to save you from me and my unwieldy going around with things. So, alright. We're, we're getting there. We're almost done with this. So, if you're new, you haven't done this, and you kind of want to get in on the action, great. This is just a point-and-click uh, little detective game. Um, I can tell you uh, there will be a lot of different outcomes if you play it yourself just by choosing different dialogue options. Um, that's the biggest key change to get things. Uh, otherwise you're just kind of... It's just a point and click and there's no fun in it then. Um, but for me, I kind of just go back and forth on what I'm choosing to be. Um, since I'm not even 50% familiar with Hercule Perot as an actual character. I mean, I'm, I've watched him a lot, but I haven't really read it, so I don't completely know how he he fully thinks. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're we're nearly done. The more I talk about this, the more the more you guys have to deal with me. Um, I have to get the ribbon. Ah. Uh, all right. Um, I'm gonna edit this out and post. So uh, yeah. Um. And here is the ribbon. Let us see if it was indeed used to write the letters sent by ABC. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to do this, apparently. I Not only bad. need the ink ribbon for... No! Uh. And here is the ribbon. Let us see if it was indeed used to write I'm the so letters sorry. sent by ABC. I'm so, so sorry. I only need the ink ribbon for my inquiry. Oh, there it was. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Uh, where was it? I saw it for like half a second. Where did it go? All the letters announcing the murders were written on Cust's typewriter. Oh, thank goodness. Jeez. I'm sorry that took so long. Oy. All right. Three times. Wow, I got three of them. Wow. All right. Um, we've got six of six. Um... War of 1914-1918. By the King's order, the name of Corporal A.B. Cust, Devonshire Regiment, was published on the London Gazette on May the 10th, 1918, as mentioned in the Dispatch for Gallant and Distinguished Service. Hmm. An army dispatch, wounded on the Somme front, victim oh, of a gas attack. Corporal Cust greatly deserves his distinction. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we've looked over here, I think. The least we can say that Mr. Cust is not very concerned about order and balance. Um. Hmm. 
It's closed. It's closed. ABC It's closed. Well, I kind of want to see what the thing says. ABC 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 It's closed. <laughs> hmm. It's closed. It, it's closed. It's closed. Hmm. Ah, wait. We a have... long blade and knife. A mer we have a thing. I can do a thing with the thing. Um. This knife is very useful. Who knows? Maybe it never cut anything other than string. St Stockings. Ah, okay. Great. Got it. Now that it failed. Everything else. Um, I think we've covered everything in the room. I think we can get out of here. There's four. Four here. Yep. I think we're done here because we've got that. We've read that. Um, I don't think there's much else to the room. Okay, um... This dark stain... It could be blood, but goodness knows how long it has been there. True. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Yay, okay. Cool. <laughs> so, uh... The register shows that Cust did not sleep at the guest house on the day of the murder. Where was he? Bexil. The Bexil paper reveals it. Cust bought this newspaper in Bexil on July the 25th. All right, we're closer. No use continuing the inspection of this room. I've seen all there is to see. Yes, we can leave. Thankfully. Nearly there. So now we're gonna probably end Goodbye, up. Goodbye, Mrs. Marbury. Thank you for your help. Bye. Ah, Chief Inspector. I was about to leave. Good evening, Chief Inspector. Welcome. Please excuse me. I must go to the kitchen. I'll leave the cube, Mr. Cust, on the counter. I'm sorry I'm late. I've spent ages with the Doncaster police. And you? I have established one fact. On three occasions, Cust was at the scene on the day of the crime. Okay, so we're nearly there. Yay. I'm so excited. Now we just have to get there. Um, anything else? Um, we saw that. We did that. We can't go there. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that. Um, so, I think we're good. I'm going to uh, talk with... I had best talk to Jab. I've listened closely to what you have to say, Poro. For me, there's no doubt, Cust is guilty. Do you have any element that might prove the contrary? That is what we're going to look for. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Oh. Ah, sorry. Um. Hmm. 
Uh, that doesn't help. Uh, um, where's the ah? There we go. And now we have all three. Um, Cussin was in the towns at all times. Are there any common points between Cuss and the killer? Um. Had a knife. Um. Um. The Sorry, evidence I against didn't talk Cust about is that, overwhelming. But, um... His presence at the scenes, the knife, the bloodstained shirt, the ABCs in a box. C'est vrai. However, the blood Mrs. Marbury saw on Cust's shirt may have been his own. According to his medical records, he suffers from hemoptysis. The murderer cuts a Carmichael's throat from behind, and the blood spurted outwards. You would expect the murderer's shirt to be stained on the sleeves, not on the buttonholes. Yet we see quite the opposite. You would expect the murderer to keep the newspaper articles about his crimes. But Cust's collection starts in Cheston, as if it discovered the case rather late. Hmm, I agree it's troubling, but it doesn't change my mind. There's small details that we should be able to clear up by questioning Cust. When can you talk to him? So I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, to think that it wasn't cuss, but that already? it was in fact... He says he can't remember a thing. It's plausible. Um, Doctor Say suffers from absences and amnesia. Mrs. Marbury has confirmed this. He may have done the murders in an altered state. A familiar situation. Hmm. It's not enough to clear his name. Doctor Thompson insisted that even if you don't know what you're doing, you never commit a murder without wanting to. Très intéressant. I shall remember that. Right. I'll go and examine the suspect's room. Uh, Chief Inspector, I took the liberty of removing a few clues to examine at home. All right. We'll discuss them tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to see if you've missed something. All right. We will leave and go home. Um, I'm going to end this one early since we're at a good stopping point. I've, I've made you suffer more than is necessary for the past couple times. Anyway, um, thank you so much um, for listening to me or not listening. I mean, whatever. I hope these um, Let's Plays and meanderings like bring a little joy or intrigue or something that brightens or makes it better or something to your day. Um... They do for me. Um, at least doing them does. Um, it's just a little something extra to remind me that, you know, uh, there are things I can create and do. Um, anyway, thank you so much. Thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you don't. Uh, constructive criticism, please. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, what you would like to see, if there's things I can do better, differently, worse. Um, or things you just don't like all of the above are more than welcome anyway thank you so much I will see you in the next video and have a wonderful time until then and if you don't please find something that makes your day a little brighter <laughs>